as many are aware. I was recently able to attend the wedding of my two best friends, Samuel Clemens and his beautiful bride, Olivia Langdon. Now, I've heard some rumors floating around that Sam only married Livy for her family's money. It isn't hard to see that she's a part of the richest family in Elmira. And who wouldn't love to live in the lap of luxury? Well, my Sam isn't like that. From the moment I saw them together, I knew it was true love. And thus, on February 2nd, a kiss sealed their marriage and off they were sent to their honeymoon. If you haven't heard, Mr. Twain's been off on his lecturing tour for the past few months. He didn't have time to arrange anything himself. Not up to his astute standards, of course. Uh, he had a dear friend from Buffalo do all the work for the two. While their guests resided in the Tift House, the young couple made their way to their quiet quarters, an absolutely darling brick house in the Upper East Side of Delaware Street. Now here's where it gets good. <laughs> Waiting for Mr. Clements was his wife's mother and father. Although he already courted them back at the hotel, there was still some unfinished business. Out of the generosity of their hearts, they had purchased and gifted the newlyweds the house in which they would be staying for their honeymoon. Now, who would have known old Sam would be at a loss for words? From the delicate blue satin drawing room to the little quiet sanctum part, with its garland upholstery, and amid the pretty adornments, he hated it. <laughs> <laughs> he called it a first-class swindle, <laughs> as it trapped him within the confines of Buffalo, New York. I wouldn't have been so ungrateful. But, nonetheless, the happy couple accepted the gift, pleasing the beaming set of parents. Long life and happy days to our young friends, whose morning sky gives such rosy promise. <laughs>